Cinderella has been my all-time favorite since I was a child. Don't you just love fairy tales and the promise of happily ever after? Wow! Once upon a time, a girl named Cinderella lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters. This is my version of Cinderella's story. My name is Geraldine, a Filipina. Once upon a time, I was 35 years old. I lived with my mother, not stepmother, 61 years old, three sisters, and definitely not stepsisters. Poor Cinderella had to work hard all day long so the others could rest. I am the breadwinner of the family. I am the only one who finished college through scholarship and through the help of a close relative. My father died August 2012. I was 30 years old then. Nung nabubuhay pa ang tatay ko, isa siyang karpintero at kumikita lang ng maliit na halaga at panapanahon lang ang tanggap niyang trabaho. I have a mother, three sisters, and three young nieces that needed my support financially that time. Single and getting older, kaya tanggap ko na noon na baka I'm meant to be single na lang and ready na ako na i-dedicate na lang ang buhay ko supporting my family sa Pilipinas. To be good at my job as an office clerk and part-time teacher and to serve the Lord through my ministries at our local church. One day, big news came to town. The king and the queen were going to have a ball. It was time for the prince to find a bride. On the other side of the world, Mario from Sydney, Australia, 42 years old then, single, never been married, praying to find a future wife and taught to try his luck on online dating. Soon the time came for the stepmother and the stepsisters to leave for the big party and left Cinderella at home. She said aloud, I wish I could go to the ball too. I have tried online dating few times already, pero walang nangyari. Nauuwi lang sa bigla ka nalang iiwasan, nun pala ay may iba na silang nakilala. Although I said I am ready to be forever single, in my heart, I have never stopped longing, hoping, and praying to God to give me a life partner. All of a sudden, in front of Cinderella was a fairy. You called, said the fairy. Did I? said Cinderella. Who are you? Your fairy godmother, of course. I know your wish, and I have come to grant it. But, said Cinderella, my wish is impossible. Around late January 2014, I thought to give online dating another try. There's something inside me that tells me to do it. And on early February 2014, Mario and I met through an online dating site. It's not a coincidence. It's God's perfect timing. I didn't have a fairy godmother, but I have a savior, a loving and caring God, and his name is Jesus. With him, nothing is impossible. The fairy tapped her wand on Cinderella's head. At once, Cinderella was all clean. She was dressed in a beautiful blue gown. Her hair was set up high on her head inside a golden band. Who was that lovely lady stepping down the stairs? She held her head tall and looked as if she belonged, but no one knew her. There is something about her, said the prince to himself.
I will ask her to dance. And he walked over to Cinderella. God give me And so Cinderella and the prince were married, and they lived happily ever after. When Jesus was on the cross, he said to the thief beside him, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. And in the Gospel of John, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So the happy ending is already written for us. It's the middle of the story that is up to us to write. We write our story by having goals and dreams making good choices, using our talents, serving others, and trusting God to guide us.